I think this shows the power level of the deck being able to deal with so many different situations. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Not only is it a great way to support, but you are entered to win a free draft booster box of Streets of New Capenna in a couple of months. I know we've got a little while till that one comes out, but I thought I'd go ahead and throw that out there since we did get some spoilers last week. Uh, just go ahead and get a head start and give you guys as much time as possible. There are other ways to enter. Please do check out the video here on our landing page on YouTube. That's going to give you all the details. There's also an article on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Subscribing here on YouTube is not, not the only way uh to uh to enter that giveaway so please do check out all that but let's talk about today's deck guys this is a sultai mythic mid-range deck created by the amazing community and content creator uh uh hello good game hello good game put this together uh, i really liked his video on it and so i thought i would give it a shot uh, we've been playing this week a lot of decks that I created and not doing so well. <laughs> Although we did go undefeated yesterday, or day before yesterday. Uh, but I do think that this deck is very, very good, and so I, I had to give this one a shot. So hello, good game. Thank you so much for posting this deck list. But uh, it's a really interesting deck. So it's a rampy deck in the beginning. We've got the Shambling Ghast. We've got those Deadly Disputes. We've even got Path to the Festival. This is going to hopefully allow us to scribe, but also some flashback mana ramp, which is always good. Uh, we've even got Binding of the Old Gods here, which does not only destroy a permanent on the opponent's side, but then of course give us a forest. We do naturally have the uh, Snowlands here that we can pull out for that, which is great. Uh, and we're trying to ramp into some big stuff here in the five and up slots. So we've got Junji, we've got uh, the Silent Spider, we've got Hullbreaker Horror. All of these are our big, big creatures. Uh, now, crucially, the way this is theoretically going to work uh, is if we can get Junji down, uh, maybe get an attack in, maybe do something with it for a little bit, but then if it dies or if we have to sack it to a deadly dispute, whatever happens, hopefully uh, with the draw and discard looting ability here off of Kaito, uh, we can get something like a Hallbreaker Horror or the Silent Spider in the graveyard. And this just immediately has the recursive ability of being able to say, okay, we'll bring another creature back. That's a non-dragon. Obviously, neither of these are dragons. <laughs> Uh, and so the idea is we can bring these back and still have a big heavy hitting threat uh, that can very easily kind of still take over the game on its own. Uh, now, to help us kind of stay in the game in the early turns, we do have the Meat Hook Massacre. We've got Jwari Disruption. Of course, that Shambling Gas can uh, not only ramp, but also kill some of the early game stuff. Again, Kaito is really nice because it does allow us uh, to, to spit out creatures that we can sack to the Deadly Disputes or we can use that looting ability uh, or just draw if we've attacked the turn uh, during that turn. So very nice ability there. Uh, and then at the very top end, we have Storm the Festival. This is obviously just a really powerful card in general, but uh, we've got a lot of things for five or less. But crucially, this does hit Genji, uh, which we can use to then, of course, recur later on. So lots of really powerful plays here. And again, this is just ramping into those big things. Um, crucially, the Silent Spider does allow you to steal and then replay uh, a lot of the cards that, you know, you would you want to steal out of the opponent's deck. Uh, it also lets you play mana as though it were any color to play it. And so, depending on the situation we're in, it might be more viable to get the Silent Spider above the Hullbreaker Horror just to find an answer to something the opponent might be doing. Uh, but all in all, you know, we've kind of got ourselves tooled and set up for whatever the situation may be. Uh, we're going to certainly do the best we can to make that happen. We do have a lot of tech in the lands in terms of the new legendary land cycle. We've got, I believe, two of each. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, those snow lands to help us out uh, on the Binding of the Old Gods. But all in all, again, this is an amazing deck. I have tested it just a little bit. Uh, still a lot of learning on my end to do, so I know I will misplay on this one, guys. But feel free, as we're going through, if you do see a misplay or if you do see something that I could have done better, let me know uh, because I'm I'm here to learn. I'm here to have some fun and just enjoy the deck, but I do want to learn and uh, hopefully optimize my play patterns as best I can. Uh, and so I know I'm going to mess up. It's cool, but hit, hit me up. Let me know what I can do better. But 
let's talk about this uh as we're going through the games guys let's jump into game one right now all right guys here we are for game number one and this is an interesting hand we do have the meat hook massacre and the shambling gas which can help us of course play that kaito and then the path so i think this is a pretty easy keep uh we'll probably lead on the abandoned mire just so we can get that shambling gas down right away uh i think that's probably just the best play um and then if we happen to draw the second one we can utilize its ability versus uh just playing it out as a land but we'll see what we need to do uh i think it's pretty clear we just do this and attack there's nothing else really that we can do next turn of course we do have path to the festival uh available to us which we'll probably use to get an island since we are kind of short on that uh end of things at the moment there's junji as well that's actually very good uh yeah so i think the play is definitely just go get an island um so we'll go ahead and do that seems easy enough uh and you know what i'm gonna keep that because we do have double black for the junji i can attack in here pretty freely if they decide to block that's fine we can kill it uh if they don't decide to block it doesn't really matter um we're gonna take the hit here i know but we do have that meat hook massacre at some point that's gonna help us here so it looks like they're just gonna level this up which is a good play don't get me wrong yep there it is uh crucially we could also play the silent spider if we would like um uh, exile another basically in front of, well it doesn't need to be in the graveyard i suppose so let's not do that um all right first things first uh i think we are just going to attack in uh we do have a decision to make post combat but uh i think we can make this work let's go ahead and do the genji play this is a little less exciting solely because we've got nothing in the graveyard i guess we could have kaitoed or just meat hook massacred and just get this off the field so they kind of have to do something else uh but we're kind of forcing the block here and they can't just uh blizzard brawl this away that's kind of the key thing here is that you know junji is more powerful than their wolf it is going to be a little bit trickier for them to deal with it looks like they just have an old growth troll uh which is perfectly fine by me next turn depending on what we draw if we draw a land we can actually meat hook for four okay so i'm assuming they do have the blizzard brawl uh but i still think we do this um oh okay that's fine uh cool so we're just gonna make him discard a couple cards easy enough uh we get to kill this later on anyway so that's perfectly fine <clears throat> uh they lose a couple life and discard some cards there's our land which is actually quite helpful <coughs> excuse me um all right well we can do a number of different things and i think the play is actually to play the silent spider and exile the wren i feel like that might be the best play uh this just gives us long-term value like crazy um and we can just play the wren oh it's in their hand also which is really good um all right cool so now they're left with nothing in hand i think that was the correct play above the meat hook massacre here um let's see then that player for as long as you control this okay uh obviously no attacks we can't really get any damage in here hopefully i mean we may have to take a hit here but uh we get that ren and seven down we start spitting out tokens and there's very little they can do do they have the blizzard brawl oh no they drew the blizzard brawl that was really unfortunate uh but you know what it's okay we couldn't really do much about that i was really banking on them not having it uh and i don't think that was incorrect to do um that's indestructible i'm gonna block anyway because we are gonna si probably have to meet hook massacre here um we'll create the treasure token just to give us that option uh so we can do this for five yeah um we just kind of have to here at this point there's not really anything else we can do um next turn we can meat hook again to get rid of this token and then at the very least we're leaving them again with nothing seeing them discard the ren was a bit of a tell that they probably had another one uh so i am really glad that we went for that silent spider play because i think that was just the best play we could have done the trick being of course that they ended up having you know an answer in hand or, or drawing the answer which was really unfortunate but it is what it is we can't uh can't do anything about that so the question is <clears throat> excuse me do we meet hook here at once again 
uh, for two. Um, I kind of, I don't really want to. I'm going to say no, <laughs> excuse me, um, because I kind of want to bait them into a better uh, prospect here. So if they activate that old growth troll or the, yeah, the old growth troll, we can actually meat hook for a lot more. Yeah, they're going to get an activation out of this, but I think this is okay. What we can actually do is spit out the one one here, uh, leave up the deadly dispute and just kind of blank an attack from a creature. Uh, and then also draw some cards in the mix. So that should be enough to draw us into something else. Obviously, the meat hook is step one here, but uh, theoretically, we should be able to get something going here. So I'm going to just throw this little 1-1 one -one out. It doesn't look like much at all, and it really isn't. But the trick is that we can obviously just deadly dispute this at some point just to get the, the value. Uh, and then again, that meat hook massacre should be able to take a good bit out. I have to imagine they activate the old growth troll this turn, or maybe they're waiting just to leave up, uh, for the, uh, because they know we've got meat hook massacre. That's a very big possibility. Looks like they're going to play the sculptor of winter out. Okay. So they're just playing off the top. That's very, very good. Uh, all of this is actually okay though, because we just get to kill all of it. <laughs> Um, which is great, so I'm cool with it. So they're gonna get an attack in, I assume, with the the Asika's Chariot. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna block and then, of course, Deadly Dispute. So we resolve this first. Um, I'm gonna go into full control mode just to be safe. Uh, all right, so let's go to blocks, one blocker, then let's Deadly Dispute. So this saves us the damage. Um, the opponent's going to lose a life here, but crucially, we're going to get some mana and some cards, which is exactly what we need. Wow, those are not good cards, though, and that's not a good card. Uh, wow, that's really bad. Uh, all right, first things first, let's draw. We're not going to attack this turn, so I am doing this post, or, or excuse me, pre-combat, because we don't really have a better option. Uh, Binding of the Old Gods isn't bad, actually. All right, so we have to meat hook here for three. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and the good news is this should gain us a good bit of life too. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six life. So that's gonna put us back up to 19, which isn't a bad place to be. And the Binding of the Old Gods is actually quite helpful. Um, we are going to run into some issues here because we really can't do everything we want to do. It'd be great if we could, but we're just not going to get there. Um, I'm, I'm curious as to what they plan to do there. It looks like nothing. All right, so we're going to gain a bunch of life. So at the very least, we're back to where we needed to be, but this is going to be a grindy, grindy game, guys. So the trick here is that they can create the token or just keep playing stuff off the top. That's kind of the bad part about this is they can just keep doing that. Um, I think the Kaito or the, the Binding of the Old Gods really sets us up well to deal with that though. So I think we have to do that. We've got the Meat Hook Massacre again. Uh, that's our third. So that's going to deal with some stuff off the top here. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Ranger class. This shuts down the top of their library. So they're not able to just continuously go off on that. And honestly, I'm going to do this because we kind of just need cards. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a desperation move, obviously, but I think we just need to. Um, there's not really anything else we can do. There's Storm the Festival, which is actually quite good. Let's go ahead and plus up. Um, and again, we can't attack, so that's okay. But I... Uh, wow, three Storm the Festivals. Um... So I think we dish Kaito. <laughs> uh, I mean, they could actually kill Kaito, so maybe that's not the right call. Maybe it's the extra one of the extra storm the festivals. But I think here we're just in a really good position to start storming and uh, theoretically take over. We'll see how this actually works, but we're kind of forcing them into popping this old growth troll uh, land because now they can't play from the top. I'm really curious as to why they're not actually kind of interesting uh so we'll go ahead and get the falls here 
play this out for blue. It really doesn't matter too much. Um, let's go ahead and storm. Uh, mine as well. Let's see what we get. So they can do this at instant speed. So maybe that's why they're doing it. I would think they could do it, activate, get a copy of it immediately. Uh, that seems good to me, but that's cool. Um, all right, let's just get both of these. Uh, I will go ahead and draw and discard. And there we go, guys. We got the win. What a grindy game. That was a really, really good start to uh, to this deck. I think this shows the power level of the deck, being able to deal with so many different situations. Perfect. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys. Here we are for game number two. Now, this is a bit of a tricky hand. We really need some extra lands here. Uh, do we want to go for it just on the off chance that we get it? If we do, we do have Kaito available based on the lands that we already have. I'm going to try it. I don't feel super good about it, but we do have a number of things that would help us get here. So I, I feel like we can risk it. Uh, the Storm of the Festival is obviously a much later game play. I'm glad we have the Meat Hook Massacre available. That is not a good draw at all. Uh, so we really just have to hope to get lucky. If we don't, we're probably going to lose the game. And you know what? It's okay. Uh, it happens. We can't do anything about it. So we'll just do the best we can. Okay. Uh, land's a land. So how do we want to do this? Um, I think we throw this out. So we can do a couple of different things here, but I think the safe play is actually just to draw and discard a card. We're going to need like something. You know what I mean? Like we have to get uh, some lands here. And so drawing and discarding just gets us further into the deck. This is all really terrifying. <laughs> um, there's really no way around it. That's not a land. Um, all right, so we need to draw and discard again. That's not a playable land. That's unfortunate. Um, wow, this is really bad. No lands, no lands, no lands. So we just have to play out this and then Deadly Dispute is the play. Um, so we can actually Deadly Dispute in response to a creature here just to kind of lock something down. So if we do this, auto pay, we'll sack this uh, and we'll give this minus one, minus one. What this does is prevent them from gaining an extra life. Uh, it's not much, but I think it's the best thing we can do. And we get to draw a couple cards here. So now we can actually play something. <laughs> uh, this is still very, very scary. And our life total is very much in jeopardy here. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, there's just no way we can really get around that. So I'm trying to think next turn what we can do. Wow, they attacked both. That was a little surprising. Um, I didn't think they would do that. I mean, I'm kind of okay with it, to be weirdly honest. Um, so we have Junji, which we can get down, but they're going to gain life this upcoming turn, um, which is going to bolster their entire board. Alternatively, we can just do this just to get rid of a couple of these guys uh, and then maybe follow it up with something next turn. So we can do this for two... It's just so bad regardless of the situation because we really don't have anything that can deal with this. But I think we just have to hit this for two. Save that treasure token, obviously. I mean, it's not a lot, but it gets rid of something and we do gain a couple points of life here. The trick is all they have to do is play a creature and they have the, uh, the Righteous Valkyrie online, which is going to get it out of range of the second uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Is the only downside to the, uh... oh, I guess not. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, this is the only, man, we really need just a land. Why can't we find one? My goodness. Um, I mean, we're just dead. There's nothing we can do. We just didn't find a land. I know we kept a bit of a sketchy hand for sure, but I was really hoping we could at least get something here. Um... Four, five, six, seven, eight. So they just kill us no matter what we do. Because they get an extra token here. Oh yeah, they're definitely killing us. Alright, we're just gonna have to concede there, guys. That was really unfortunate. We just didn't draw a land. You know, it, it feels bad, but it is what it is. Let's jump into a third game. I think we have time. We'll see if we can get another one in. 
All right, guys, here we are for our third game. This is an interesting one. Uh, I do think we keep this, but the, the tapped lands early on, a little bit frustrating. Um, but this does set us up well to ramp into either the Junji or just the Binding of the Old Gods, both of which are going to be great. Unfortunately, we do have to lead with that tap land. We do have all three colors of mana here, though, which is important. And we've got a path, which is quite good. Um, let's go ahead and lead with this. Then we'll just play this out. They're just leaving up Deadly Dispute here, I have to imagine. They did that this previous turn, so I'm assuming that's what they've got. They are going to foretell a card here, though, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to take the block while they don't have a Deadly Dispute target. Um, and I'm just going to create a treasure token. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Let's do this. Uh, let's path. Let's just gain a little bit of uh, long-term advantage here. I think this is probably the correct play. Let's go ahead and get that second blue source, which, I mean, at some point we're definitely going to need. Uh, this Junji should be really good this upcoming turn, though. Um, depending on what they do. Oh, a Lantern. Okay. Well, Lantern is definitely good. Um, I'm going to decline. I'm just going to take the three. So let's throw this out. Let's throw this out. Um, again, this just is a diff is, it's a card that they're going to have to deal with. And if they do, they're going to have to take a hit to their hand. Uh, or we get, I guess, a Shambling Gas back. But I don't think that's the play. I am going to Binding of the Old Gods on that Lantern uh, at some point here. It's just definitely what needs to happen. Uh, I'm going to decline. We'll take three. I assume this is going to have Invoke Despair or whatever that big new card for black is, um, which is going to be an annoying card to deal with, but got to make it work. Okay. Yep. Poison the cup. That's annoying, but fine, because again, we're going to get to discard two cards from their hand here, and then we can actually just blow up this lantern. Um... And I think, I think blowing up the lantern is the next play. Uh, I, I don't think the second Junji is quite as good here because they've got less cards in hand. Uh, Blood on the snow. Okay. Uh, oh, and actually, we can just do Shambling Ghast and uh, Binding of the Old Gods, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool. I mean... I don't feel great about our position, but I do feel like we've got some leg up on what they're doing. This is probably another poison in the cup, if I had to guess. Um, obviously, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's pretty expected. Um, all right, let's do this first. Let's attack in. Uh, this sets us up for the Kaito play, if we like it. Um, which I actually do think is the play. Let's do that. We can leave up Jwari Disruption plus Deadly Dispute. Um, or Deadly Dispute, I should say. Let's just see what we get. I'm going to kind of use this turn to tool out our hand a little. Um, story target creature, Planeswalker. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. So now they have no cards in hand, uh, which is fine by me. Um... They do have, I assume, a poison the cup, but that's it, um, which is great. So the question here is, do we want to deadly dispute the shambling gas? Um, yeah, I think we do. We just need some more cards, really. Um, so I am going to take that opportunity. Silent Spider is quite good. Um, what can we exile from their graveyard? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Turgrid might be the way to do it. Oh, I actually didn't mean to play this. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Uh, we'll exile the Turgrid so we can get all of these out of here. Uh, there's that poison the cup. Again, we knew that was going to come. Um, but we can actually get this back, which is why we... I mean, not why we played that first, because I was actually just trying to play a forest. But, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Um, alright, so they only had two. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> let's throw you out there. Let's throw Junji. So now, again, if they draw a removal spell, perfectly fine. We can get the Silent Spider back. If, uh, they don't draw a removal spell, they're dealing with a 5-5 in the air with Menace. Seems pretty good. Um, okay. Yeah, they got blood on the snow. But again, we get 
the silent spider back. So now we just get to exile more stuff. <laughs> um, I think it's blood on the snow that we actually take. Just so we take away their ability to start getting stuff back. Um, I think that's the right play. Uh, ooh, wow, that's really good. Um, so I think we just do this. Uh, and I'm just going to play this Dwari Disruption out since that's not going to do anything. And I'll just attack in. And there we go, guys. We got the win. Perfect. That was absolutely perfect. We really dismantled their deck there. That was amazing. Guys, let's talk about this list. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I just want to say again, a huge, huge thank you to fellow content creator, Hello Good Game, building an amazing deck here today. This one was really, really nice. The only time it let us down was when we just didn't draw lands. And that happens with every deck. That's not something that I have to fault the deck for. Uh, I think this actually does a really good job of ramping and not having to worry so much about the land drops. So I, I feel like, I mean, it needs the land drops, don't get me wrong, but um, I don't think, I, based on the number of lands that it has, the Shambling Gas, the Deadly Dispute, I actually don't think mana is a big issue with this. I think we just kind of got unlucky and kept a bad hand, let's be honest. Uh, guys, this was a great great deck i do recommend this one uh hello good game did a phenomenal job putting this one together it's got all the tools that you need the recursive nature uh of junji being able to bring something back just feels so good and we saw it really take over in that last game where the first junji just discarded a couple cards from the opponent's hand perfect that gets a few of the things that they were going to use against us out of the way but then the second one is able to bring back that silent spider that we had already played and that misplay kind of worked out because it did go to the graveyard. We knew they had a poison in the cup. They brought, they killed it. We were able to bring it back. We were able to steal the Turgrids as well as the blood on the snows just to get all of that out of the way. Uh, and we didn't even have to play it. You know what I mean? Like we still were able to get those cards off of the, the plate for the opponent. So we didn't have to worry about them. Uh, and so it worked out great for us. I couldn't have been more happy with these games, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, of course, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure to let me know if I misplayed, if I did anything that, or if I could have done something better, please let me know. I'm, I'm learning here as well, guys. So hopefully we're learning together and just having a, a fun time playing the game. But guys, I love you all. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.